Welcome back. In this session, we'll continue with the design of filters in MATLAB. And let me open up the tool. So let me share this screen that popped up here. So this is the uh, window that popped up there. And this today we'll design uh, Chebyshev type one filter. First, let's see the low pass filter. Chebyshev type one, low pass filter, and specify the order of this. Let me select order one. Let me select first order one. Chebyshev type filter, and you can select the frequency correct specification like this. But let me use this normalized frequency range. And let's suppose the uh, cutoff uh, uh, frequency is point. All right. Now, see, this, this will give you one more specification. This tells you where, uh, how much this, uh, this pass band ripple you, you can allow. And we, I have set it to one in DBCT. I have set it to one, right? Now let me show you what, what I mean by this. Have a look at this. Now, this is the um, Chebyshev type one low pass filter. Now, if I select this pass band, if I see the pass band, this doesn't have any ripple. This doesn't have ripple because the ripple in Chebyshev type Chebyshev filter is a function of filter order. And the ripple means the number of ripples. Let me switch to this screen. Now the number of ripples that you can have in pass band in Chebyshev type one or type two is a function of order, order means n, and the number of ripples that you can have is n by two. Now, as you can check, the number of ripples that you can have in pass band is uh, n by two. But the, here the ripple, uh, 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 so the filter order is one, so it will have only half ripple. Half ripple doesn't mean anything, so that's why it doesn't show any ripple. Now let me change it to two. So I'll show you the ripple. So filter order is two now. What what happened here? First of all, uh, the transition region became smaller. The transition region or the transition band got shrunk. Right. That's the first thing. Next thing that you observe is now the magnitude response decreases from zero to some value, right? And let me show you that. That indeed, yes, this has one ripple. You can check this has one ripple here. This has one ripple. And how much pass band I am allowing in dB scale? One dB means the magnitude will vary from zero to minus one. All right. Now you can decrease it. You can decrease that into let me change it to two dB. So I am allowing two dB ripple in this. You can check. Now the ripple will change from minus two dB to zero. All right, so this is up to you now. Now it depends upon, suppose, let me say 0.5 dB. So let me change it to 0.5 dB. All right, now you can check. It will go to 0.5 dB. Have a look, this is at 0.5. All right, so these are the specifications that you can use. So this is but in this Chebyshev type of low pass filter. Now let me change the order to four. To show you there will be two ripples now and let me change it to one db back and this is chebyshev type chebyshev type one low pass filter of filter order four that has cut off frequency 0.4 and i'm allowing a ripple of one db means the ripple can vary from zero to means the magnitude can vary in pass band from zero to minus one db let me show you that have a look there are two ripples, first of all, one, two. So there are two ripples because the order is four now, so it will be n by two. Now have the look, so the magnitude varies from this back. Magnitude varies from minus one to zero. That's what I'm allowing here. So I can allow it to two dB also. So let me allow two dB. So now you can see. Now I'm allowing the magnitude to vary from, in the pass band, to vary from zero to minus two db. All right, I hope you have got right. Let me change it to eight, right? So this is a Chebyshev type one low pass filter of R8 with cutoff frequency 0.4. And uh, I'm allowing a ripple of two db, right? Means the magnitude will now vary from zero to minus two db. Have a look. And how many ripples are there? Four, please count these. There are four ripples, one, two, three, and four. So there are four ripples in pass band because it is dependent upon the order of the filter. And there are the magnitude in pass band will vary from minus two dB to zero dB. I hope you got the idea. Now let me change it to 20. So there will be 
camera plus all right so there will be camera plus you can check are uh, there camera plus please count these yeah camera plus and pass it on all right and the magnitude varies from again my zero to two degree right i hope you have got the idea now let me show you the cutoff frequency is indeed uh, 0.4 now highlight this frequency so it should the magnitude should drop to minus 3 db at this frequency have a look the magnitude at point 0.4 is mm, minus 3 db now look at this so in the area this is the cutoff frequency all right so this is chabishaw uh, type 1 filter of order 20 let me change the order to 200 now and the cutoff frequency i will keep saying have a look and see how many ripples are there as i said the number of ripples are dependent directly dependent upon the order of this filter i hope you have got the idea all right so this is chubby show type 1 filter of order 200 that allows uh, uh, this magnitude to vary in pass band from 0 to 2 dB and has a cutoff frequency of 0.4. Now let's design a high pass Chebyshev type 1 of order 5 of order 4. Let me first of order 4 and let me use a normalized frequency again. And this time I will have a cutoff frequency of 0.6 and I'm allowing up the, this pass band magnitude to vary from 0 to minus 1 dB. All right, so let me hit design filter. You can see how many ripples are there. Two ripples, right? Two, one, two. So there are two ripples, and the magnitude you can see is varying from zero to one, day, right? Zero to minus one. Day. Have a look, right? Now let me change the order to 20 and hit design filter. Now there will be 10 ripples. You can check the ripples are 10. In the pass band, remember this is Chebyshev type one filter. This is Chebyshev one. So the ripples are allowed only in the pass band in Chebyshev type one, right? The ripples are allowed only in the type one. Now, what happened? What is happening as we increase the order? First, the transition region gets shrunk, right? And the number of ripples that we have in the pass band also increase. So you can say this transition region is a function of the order, and the number of ripples are also a function of order. Here, right? Now, same way you can design a band pass filter, right? band pass filter, Chebyshev type one, and suppose. Uh, frequency varies from 0.3 to means cutoff frequency. It will allow the frequency from 0.3 to 0.6. And we'll have 10 ripples. Again, it will have 10 ripples in positive. You can check. This is a Chebyshev type 1 band pass filter. Right? That's these characteristics. Now let me change the let me change it to 5 dB. Means it will now the magnitude will vary from 0 to minus 5 dB. Let's see what will happen. Now look. Now the magnitude varies from zero. How many this are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let me say. All right. So I hope you have got the idea. So this is band pass Chebyshev type one with order twenty with cutoff frequency 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 means it will allow the normalized frequency from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 and with a pass band ripple up. 5 db all right so let me end this session here please practice it and uh, sorry one more thing i didn't show you what you can do you can also check the phase response of this so you can check the phase response this is the phase response this these will give you the code the responses and this will give you the group delay of this filter this will give you the phase delay this will give you the impulse response remember this is a discrete time filter the filter designed here is discrete time. this is the pole zero map how many poles and zeros will be there 20 right and these will give you the filter coefficients right these are the filter coefficients that you can have right all right you can see there are 10 sections so there are 10 sections all right so let me end this session here in the next session we will see uh, type 2 should be show type 2 filter.